Hey guys, I am recording from my kitchen. I'm actually making dinner da, 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 while I'm doing my math video. Multitasking. Moms can do anything. Um, cool. So we're getting into lesson 29 and we are going to be dividing by tenths and hundredths. We're going to be dividing by decimals and fractions. But we're not going to be dividing the traditional way. We are going to be dividing um, the Eureka way. And we will, we're progressing towards the standard algorithm, but we um, are still building our number sense. We've been dividing whole numbers by fractions, and we see the result of that. And now we're going to um, make the fractions that we're dividing the whole numbers by little. Actually, we're not even dividing whole numbers by fractions. We're by dividing decimals by fractions. Um, so it's going to get, I think your brain is definitely going to be challenged, but you guys are up for the challenge. And just take it slow and just remember remember all of the amazing place value understanding that's supporting you today. Uh, think back to module one and that place value chart. <clears throat> think about all of the um, modeling that we've done using our tape diagrams and what division really means. We're trying to fit things, de you know, decimals or whole numbers inside of whatever we're starting with. So just take it slow. I'm, it's going, it's, it's going to ask a lot of you, um, but you guys are totally, totally ready for this, and uh, here we go. Let's take a look at uh, a few of these here. So, like I said, we are dividing uh, by decimals, or we can very easily turn one-tenth in decimal form into one-tenth in fraction form. So we're dividing five by one-tenth. Essentially, what we're trying to figure out is... How many one-tenths fit inside five? So we've been doing a ton of modeling um, of that. So here we have five. Do, 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 do. And if we were to divide each of these units into ten equal spaces, so ten, ten, 10 equal spaces. I'm just drawing the number as opposed to dividing them. That's essentially what we're doing. So let's let's think about that. Here we have some scaffolding. They're providing us with kind of a thought process. So there are blank tenths in one whole. Oh, okay. I know that. There are 10 tenths in one whole. You guys know a fancy way to rename one whole is just 10 over the 10, 10 tenths. There are blank blank tenths and five holes. Interesting. So if we have five holes, how many tenths do we have in five holes? Well, we're going to have 50 because here we modeled 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. We have 50 tenths in five holes. Something else we can think about is the place value chart. If we had five tenths on the place value chart, we could also rename that as, I'm sorry, if we had five holes on the place value chart, we can also rename that as 50 tenths. Okay, so that's kind of where we're going here. Here, we're looking at eight divided by one tenth, or in fraction form, we're looking at eight divided by one tenth. Really quickly, we can just slam out a tape diagram. So this is going to be 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We're dividing 8 holes into 10 equal slices. So there's going to be 10 slices, 10 slices within each of these boxes. I'm just going to write the number 10 because... Let's be honest, I don't have the time. My pasta is boiling. I don't have the time to slice those up into 10 equal parts. So, 8 divided by 1 tenth. How many 1 tenths fit inside 8? Okay, let's think about it. And then I'm also going to draw 8 um, on just a really quick place value chart that lives in my heart. 
Okay, there are blank tenths in one whole. Oh, I know this one. There are ten tenths in one whole. Okay, feeling good. There are blank tenths and eight holes. Okay, well, let's just think about eight on the place value chart. I can rename this eight as 80 tenths. Sweet. Okay, so eight divided by one tenth, 80. Let's go back to the model. Let's see if this model supports what we've just found. This model represents eight holes. Bink, bink. I divided each of my units, each of each of my single units into tenths. That means I have how many sets of 10? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, great. That means that I sliced each of our individual units into tenths, which means I have 80 units. Okay, cool, so eight divided by one tenth is 80. I'm into it. Um, let's look down here at hundredths. Well, actually, let's look at a little bit more complicated number. Um, <clears throat> 5.2 divided by one, or 5.2, I'm not, I, did I say divided by one? I meant to say one tenth um, in decimal form, and then you guys know that one tenth looks like that in fraction form. So let's just break this down. There are, let's go ahead and put 5.2, down on the place value chart that lives in our hearts. Okay, so there are blank tenths and five holes. Well, if I were to just look at five holes on a place value chart and I wanted to rename my five holes as just tenths, I know that there are 50 tenths and five holes. Cool. Okay, there are blank tenths and two tenths. Well, I mean, really? There are two tenths and two tenths. Okay, great, aced that one. Now we're going to add these two numbers together, 50 and two, to then unfold that there are there are 52 tenths in 5.2. You guys kind of already knew that because on the place value chart, if we saw 5.2, you know that we can rename this number um, wherever our last digit falls. Okay, so this is all stuff you know. We're just kind of reworking it and really um, digging into our place value understanding and our number sense. So let's look at this one. This is just a study of color. I'm really excited about all these colors. So we have 8.7 divided by 1 tenth or 8.7 divided by fraction form 1 tenth. I'm going to write 8.7 for you guys to see because this is the place value chart in my heart. Um, so 8.7, okay, cool. So let's look at what, what we're unfolding here. There are blank tenths and eight holes. Well, I know there are 10 tenths and one hole, fancy version of the number one is 10 over 10. So how many tenths are in eight holes? 80, sweet. Okay, now there there are blank tenths and seven tenths. Wow, I think I've got this one. Seven, there are seven tenths and seven tenths. Okay, sweet. And now we're going to add up these numbers, 80 plus seven, to find that there are 87 tenths in 8.7. But you guys kind of already knew that. We know that we can rename 8.7 as tenths um, because that's where our last digit falls in the place value chart. Cool? Kind of cool stuff, huh? Giovanna is charged one cent for each of her text messages. But um, last month, her cell phone bill included a $12.60 charge for the text messages. How many text messages did G Giovanna send? So what we're G basically doing is trying to find out how many... Um, one hundredths are in 12.60. So let's set it up first in tenths. So how many tenths could fit, it in, fit in to 12.60? Well, you were correct if you thought this. Um, 126. I mean, how many hundredths are in 12.60? Um, well, there are 
indeed 1260 hundredths in 12.60 so Giovanna uh, sent 1260 text texts um, yeah so that's it Bye. The secret word is this, right here, okay? okay.